Hey Leo, let's see what's going on in your love life right now. This is a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and for any of you dealing with a Leo romantically. It's a timeless reading today, Leo. Whenever you click into the video is when you're meant to hear the messages. Please keep in mind as well, it's a general video, so it may or may not resonate. You're always welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Now, if you'd like to get a personal tarot reading from me, I do offer those through my Etsy shop, but they are a different style than what I do on YouTube. I don't offer video readings through Etsy, but I do have written tarot readings. If you're interested in checking it out, the link to my Etsy shop is just in the description box below this video. So let's jump right in today, Leo, and let's see what's coming toward you in love. First, first card out, two of cups, wow. We got some beautiful big energy starting us out today. The Two of Cups is widely known as the soulmate card. It represents a beautiful union, a divine partnership, two people coming together. They just fit together. They work well together. They love each other. There's an amazing connection and an amazing synergy, and it just feels really, really good. So from what I can see here with this first card, Leo, there's obviously a very strong connection between you and somebody very special here. It could be within your current relationship if you're currently in a partnership. It could be with somebody new who's coming into your life. But um, let's just say that they're definitely giving soulmate vibes, Leo. Tell me more about what's coming toward Leo right now. <laughs> Beautiful. Six of Wands. This is a card of victory, success, and recognition. I often say to you that the Six of Wands to me embodies a sense of pride, like being in a relationship with somebody and just feeling so proud of them and so proud to have them as our partner. And I think that makes a lot of sense with the first card that we got here, the Two of Cups, because this is a beautiful connection between you and this person. I feel like this person is very proud of you. They respect you. They love being in a relationship with you. The Six of Wands is also a card of success. So to me, it's indicating that this connection between you and this person, whether it's your current partner, whether it's somebody new coming in, it feels like it's destined for success. It feels like the connection is destined to flourish between the two of you. Tell me more about what's coming toward Leo. Love it. And then we've got the judgment card. This is about our higher calling, our higher purpose, acting in alignment with what we want. And I feel a lot of the times within a love reading that the judgment card is ultimately about attracting a relationship where there is that compatibility between two people. And so again, it kind of fits with what I've been saying, Leo, where I'm like, there's just this beautiful connection here between you and this person. You've got shared values, shared beliefs. You've probably got this really beautiful alignment in terms of your long-term goals, your dreams, and everything that you guys want to accomplish together. And it just feels really good. So in terms of the overall energy for you today, it's honestly quite spectacular. So what I wanna do for the rest of the reading is I wanna look more at this person and I wanna look more at you, Leo. So we're gonna look at them first and we're gonna look at their general energy, what they're feeling, what actions they're taking. And then I'm gonna look at the same thing for you and then we will look at the potential outcome here at the end of the reading. So let's just find out more about this person, who they are, what they're up to. Let's see, tell me about this person for Leo. Seven of Cups, interesting. So this is a bit of a funny card to show up as their first card within the reading because the Seven of Cups indicates confusion, an illusion, feeling like they have some sort of choice to make. Now, funnily enough, the Seven of Cups within a love reading can sometimes be somebody who is giving mixed messages, somebody who's hot and cold, somebody who doesn't know what they want. I'm almost getting a little bit of energy where perhaps this person who you are connecting with wasn't really looking for love or didn't expect it or didn't anticipate it. And they may have bumped into you. The two of you may have connected. And now they're like, what do I do with this energy? I wasn't even looking for this. So I am getting a little bit of a vibe of your person being caught off guard. And they may have even said this to you, Leo, or they could be saying this to you like, I wasn't looking for this. I was just living my life. I wasn't even thinking about dating. I wasn't even thinking about being in a relationship. And then you came into my life, just like Frankie. And then you came into my life and I just didn't even anticipate this. So tell me more about this person. Ah, three of swords. Okay. So here's the thing, Leo. The person who you're involved with has come off of some some sort of heartbreak or some sort of heartbreaking situation. I'm not laughing at the cards. I'm laughing at Frankie's tail here. Um, and so what I'm getting is the vibe of someone who's like, 
Am I ready to move on? Is it too soon? So again, it's kind of what I was picking up with, with the Seven of Cups, where I'm like, I feel your person wasn't even expecting this feeling that they have for you. They weren't expecting this connection. They weren't expecting these deep feelings to start developing. But now they're in this position where obviously there's a strong connection between the two of you based on the overall energy. But they're like, I don't know, I recently got out of a relationship or I just thought I was going to be single for a while and not date. And now all of that is getting thrown out the window because you've come into their life or you're in their life. And I think what it feels like to me is that they can't deny the connection, right? They can't deny the overall energy between the two of you, but I really don't think that they were necessarily looking for this Leo. So it's put them in a bit of a position where they're like, I don't know. I didn't even think this is what I was looking for. And <laughs> now they've got this opportunity. Okay. Tell me more please about this person. Oh, what is this? And then the King of Cups, look at that. Yeah. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This to me is about the fact that they cannot deny the feelings that they have for you. Even though they may not feel ready for this and they weren't necessarily looking for this connection between you and them, I feel like you're pulling at their heartstrings, right? It's like their heart is opening up to you. They're feeling this emotional intimacy. And I just feel that it's like they can't deny the connection between the two of you. And they can't, <laughs> what I'm getting here is like, they can't turn off their feelings as much as they might try to deny the chemistry and the connection and whatever else they feel, they can't deny it. They can't turn it off. And so even though they may not have been looking for this, it doesn't change the fact that they're developing some incredibly strong feelings for you. Okay. So what is this person feeling? What is this person feeling right now? <laughs> okay. I love that. I love it. Ace of cups. So here's the thing, Leo. I feel like they may not have been looking for this, but they're like, you know what? I can't deny this and I don't want to lose out on an opportunity to explore this connection between the two of you. So I feel like the Ace of Cups is because it's showing up in your person's emotions. To me, it's like they're recognizing that they actually do want to explore this new emotional connection, this new opportunity, this new love or this deeper emotional intimacy between the two of you. Even for those of you who have maybe been with this person for a little bit, maybe they've held back a little bit because they've been hurt before in past relationships. And it's been a slow process for the two of you to really open up to each other and get to know each other. If that's the case, I feel like there's a very prominent shift that's happening within their energy where they're like, you know what, I can stay closed off to this, but why would I do that? Why would I miss out on an opportunity here to really just connect with you on that deeper level? So even though maybe they've been hurt before and it's hard to open up, maybe it's hard for them to be vulnerable, or maybe they just didn't see this coming. Even with all of that, I think that I see them being open here with the Ace of Cups and opening up emotionally to you and this connection. Tell me more, please. And then the seven of wands. <laughs> oh, Leo, it could be a bit interesting. OK, it could um, <clears throat> it could feel like maybe a little bit of a roller coaster, an emotional roller coaster, because here's what could be happening, just so you're aware of it, if it comes up. OK, like there could be moments where this person starts to open up and then they pull back a little bit because honestly, it's scary to be vulnerable. It's scary to put ourselves out there it's scary to just like put our heart on the line sometimes, right? Especially when we've gone through something like this, three of swords, right? So what I can see here is that there's gonna be moments where this person opens up, but then they might pull back a little bit, you know, cause maybe it's a little bit, it's a little bit scary to them. Maybe they're not used to being vulnerable. Maybe they've been vulnerable in the past and it wasn't well received. Like I said, I think for many of you, this person is still going through some sort of process of emotional healing, probably related to a past heartbreak. So it's almost as if they're taking like baby steps forward emotionally, but don't be surprised if like they open up and then they kind of pull back a little bit because they're like, okay, I was vulnerable with Leo. How is Leo gonna take it? And so it's like they're building up that trust and confidence within the connection. Tell me more please about what they're feeling. <laughs> I love that. And then we got the page of swords. So yeah, I mean, they're feeling, <clears throat> they're feeling very curious about you, Leo. They want to talk. They want to get to know you. They want to get to know your heart. So even though maybe they weren't ready for it, or maybe it's scary for them to step out of their comfort zone and open up to you, I do see them really doing that. Tell me what actions this person is taking, please. Page of pentacles. Ooh, they could be giving you some sort of gift here, Leo. 
Uh, Page of Pentacles often represents like a physical item, some sort of token of affection. Um, like it could literally be a gift, something that they surprise you with, but the pages tend to be messengers. And so I do see that your person is moving towards you and maybe just um, <clears throat> doing something to demonstrate their interest in you. Because like I said, there might be moments where they pull back a little bit and then they're like, uh oh, I don't want Leo to think I'm not interested. So then they come towards you with that page of pentacles and they're like, here, let me like make you an offer that shows you that I am super into you. Tell me more about what actions they're taking. <laughs> I love that. The sun. This is your ruling planet, by the way, Leo. So maybe some of you guys are dealing with a fellow Leo romantically. Um, the sun card to me is the happiest card within the tarot. It brings blessings, it brings joy. So this is showing up within your person's actions. So it's kind of like they're hoping to give you something right now that's gonna make you really happy, really move things forward. I think they're trying to bring a lot of joy into your life and also just live with joy in their own life as well. So there's definitely a focus here, I think, on moving forward, living in the moment and living, living with love and living with joy here. Tell me more, please. Okay, four of wands, we will take that. Oh, I love this. So it's like your person may not have been looking for you. They may not have expected this connection. They may not have expected these feelings between the two of you. But I think after a very short period of time, they are going to realize that this is the real deal. Like you're going to get the buy-in here, Leo, because even though maybe at first they're a little bit hesitant and <clears throat> they're starting to get comfortable opening up, I see here that it's like, again, they can't deny this connection, right? So they have two options here. It's like they could ignore the connection and potentially lose out on this opportunity with you, or they can be like, you know what? This wasn't necessarily the timing that I expected, but I can't deny that I have these strong feelings. And so with the four of wands, what this tells me is that not only does this person feel very happy with you and, and very into you, they're seeing a future here, Leo, because the four of wands is like the marriage card, the 1111 card. So when it comes to this connection here, it's like very quickly, they're going to be thinking long term and they're going to be like, not only do I feel this amazing connection here with Leo in their mind, it's like the wheels are turning and they're thinking about the future and where this is headed. Wow. Okay. So let's look at you. Tell me about Leo right now, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> Leo. So the first card coming out for you is the nine of swords, which tells me that there could be something right now where you're really overthinking my loves. Okay. You're really getting up in your head with the nine of swords. Now here's the thing with the nine of swords. It can represent our fears and anxieties getting in our head, but they're not always representative of reality, right? It's like, don't think yourself into a problem. Have you ever done this? I've definitely done this, Leo, <laughs> no judgment, you know? There's like this little thing and then we start thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And then all of a sudden it's like, we've worked ourselves up and it's this huge issue. So I just wanna say whatever this is for you, Leo, you're getting up in your head related to this connection or related to your love life. So watch out for any sort of tendency right now to be overthinking and letting your thoughts run away with you because I don't think that ever really helps us. It doesn't help me. <laughs> okay, tell me more, please, about Leo right now. Oh, Leo. Okay, this is getting interesting. Ten of Swords. This is a card that indicates betrayal, literally being stabbed in the back. That is literally the imagery on the card here. Okay. Um, you're like, it's funny. We talked about how your person maybe wasn't expecting this connection and wasn't sure if they're ready for it it kind of looks like it's the same for you, Leo. Because when I look at the energy for you to start out with, it's like heavy, it's anxiety. It tells me that you've been through some tough experiences in love. You're trying to move forward, but I do feel like there is still that anxiety and that pain associated with some sort of betrayal that you've experienced. So I'm picking up on a big theme here for you specifically, Leo, related to trust and related to feeling like you can open up again and trust within a relationship. And so, I, you know, it's kind of similar to your person where it's like, you might not have expected this connection between you and this person. You may have been in the process of trying to work through some sort of past trauma or issue or heartbreaking situation that's still weighing on your mind with the nine of swords. But now you've got this person here. So you also have a choice. It's like, 
how do you decide to move forward with this connection, even if you're still, you know, maybe building yourself back up or maybe learning how to trust yourself again or learning how to trust within relationships, right? Tell me more, Seven of Pentacles. Be patient with yourself, my loves, okay? The Seven of Pentacles is about being intentional and not feeling the need to rush things. And so if you are going through some sort of healing process, which I, I really do think you are, be patient. Don't get frustrated with yourself. I almost feel like some of you might be beating yourselves up a little bit and being like, I should just be over this. I should not be thinking about this. What's wrong with me? Why is it still an issue? And the reason, in my opinion, Leo, is because healing is not linear. You know, it's not like, OK, I have accomplished step one of healing my broken heart. No, it doesn't work like that. There could be moments where you're healing and then you feel really good, but then you get pulled back and you think about that person and it, it's kind of, it's like this, right? You know? Um, so I think you've just got to like be patient with yourself and don't beat yourself up if you're still working through some sort of emotional pain. Just kind of have that compassion and that kindness for yourself and continue to move through that process in the way that feels good and feels right for you, right? So what are you feeling right now? Tell me about Leo's feelings for a pentacles. Okay, yeah. I see here you are holding on to something from the past, Leo, that's causing you distress, okay? It's a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't take that message. But if it does resonate with you, Leo, I feel like there's an invitation here for you to release and let go of something that is maybe holding you back from being able to fully open up and embrace this person who's here for you. And again, that might not be for all of you, but just watch out for anything that you're holding on to that's not serving you, not helping you, not getting you where you want to be. This is a good time to let that go because it could show up as a little bit of a blocking energy, especially with this showing up within your emotions. Tell me more, please, about Leo's feelings right now. Five of Wands. Yeah, <laughs> you're conflicted. Do I open up to this person? Do I give my heart to them? What do I do? So your energy is definitely a bit anxious. It's a bit heavier right now, Leo. Let's get one more. And then we've got the Nine of Pentacles. This is so ironic, Leo. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is a beautiful card, by the way. This is a really nice energy of self-sufficiency, independence, building up our self-confidence, building up our self-esteem. It's funny because remember when I was talking to you about your person and I was like, they may have been like, I'm going to be single for a while. It kind of looks again like you're the same thing. You've been through something challenging. I know that with the Ten of Swords, but I feel you kind of got out of that. And in your mind, you were like, I'm not going to date for a year or something like some arbitrary number. And then this person comes into your life. And now it's like you feel the connection with them. You feel this very strong pull, but you're still in the midst of doing your emotional healing related to whatever hurt you or heartbroke you. Right. So it's like you're going through that process at the same time that this person is entering your life when maybe you weren't even open to dating. They always say that, right? Like it happens when you least expect it. So I'm definitely getting that vibe in your reading. Tell me what actions Leo is taking. Three of Pentacles. That's really good, you guys. I feel like, okay, uh, what's coming to mind first is focus on building a solid foundation of friendship, okay? Um, like, I'm not saying that you're necessarily starting out as friends, although I do think it is possible, but I feel like the three of pentacles is like, look, you don't have to rush things really just lean into the connection, build that solid foundation, support each other, have each other's back. Um, and really just take your time. Like I'm getting the message. There's no need to rush things here. Make sure you have that solid foundation. Right. And then we've got the lovers showing up. Okay. I love that. So I do feel, because this is showing up in your actions, that you're starting to let yourself really feel these feelings for this person. And you're like, look, okay, I've been hurt before. It hurts. It's not good. I've still been healing, but I'm not going to let that hold me back from opening up my heart to new possibilities. I've talked to you guys about this before. If you watch my channel, this is just my personal belief. I don't believe that we need to be fully healed from a past relationship in order to get into a new one. I don't believe that. I don't think it's realistic. That's just my opinion. That's not a tarot thing. I think as long as you're committed to being on your healing journey, that's the best thing you can do. Are there going to be moments where you don't feel as good and it kind of hurts and you need to go back and do some work? Of course. But I think it's about being able to 
do the work we need to move forward, right? So it's like, I'm not necessarily coming into this relationship 100% healed from the past, but I am coming in committed to do the work that I need to do. That's the kind of vibe that I think is showing up for you. And it's like the lovers is saying, don't hold yourself back from this love because of the people who have hurt you in the past. I feel like there's a message there. Love that. And then the eight of wands. This is a card of quick communication. This is a card of like momentum picking up, energy moving forward. And so I just feel like a lot of the initial energy, as we've talked about, was a bit heavier. But now I feel like in your action energy, you're like, I'm not gonna let this anxiety, I'm not gonna let this past stuff hold me back. I'm really gonna just allow myself to move forward and explore this connection and explore the love and really get to know this person and talk to them and uh, start to build this connection and be open to it and see where things go between the two of you. So moment of truth here, Leo, what is the potential outcome in this situation? Okay, Five of Swords, I'm gonna pull two more. Uh, five of Swords to me often feels like drama and negativity, but not really related to your connection. Like to me, honestly, the first thing that came to mind when I pulled the Five of Swords is you choosing to disengage from any toxicity or negativity. And the first thing that came to my mind, honestly, cause look, you had the 10 of Swords and your person had the Three of Swords, right? It's like, I know that somebody has hurt both of you, right? And I feel like there might still be a little bit of drama or negativity attached to that. We've already talked about it within your reading, Leo. The Five of Swords to me is about making that decision, just like the person in the card here, to walk away and be like, no, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not being part of any of this drama anymore. Tell me more, please. The Hierophant. And then let's get one more card, please. And then we've got the Eight of Swords. Okay. So here's how I see things going for you. I do see there is still anxiety in the outcome here. And I do feel like there's work that both you and your person need to do to free yourself from any sort of like dramatic or negative situations. Now with the Hierophant energy, this can be like a wise person who gives you advice. So it's totally possible that you could be connecting with somebody who just has a lot of wisdom when it comes to relationships and they could be giving you advice, helping you move forward. But you can see here the Eight of Swords is about feeling trapped, feeling restricted. And so I feel like the outcome here is saying you're going to need to keep doing the work. OK, so don't just kind of step back and forget to engage in that healing process. I see that the outcome here is like, look, there's still some things that might be holding you back from fully opening up. I see that there's still some fears. I see that there's still some anxiety. And I honestly feel like someone is maybe causing some drama here with that five of swords. And it, it could be related to your ex, right? Or for your person, it could be related to their ex. So it's like, how do you set healthy boundaries? How do you move forward, um, get support? And I think that the outcome here is saying like, Leo, look, okay, you've got this. This is what we started with today, but it's been a long journey. And there is some tougher energy here, not between you and your person. It feels very much like historical heartbreak. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't think I've ever said historical heartbreak on my channel before, but it's like, there's still that lingering emotional heaviness from a past betrayal or heartbreak for both you and your person. And the outcome is saying, look, the two of you got something good going on here, but you've also got to both still be committed to doing the work you need to do individually so that this stuff doesn't end up potentially coming in and clouding the relationship between the two of you. So it's like, enjoy the connection between the two of you, but continue to remain committed to working through some of these issues because there is still some of this past energy of anxiety and heartbreak and tougher stuff showing up. So don't neglect that healing journey. I feel like that's what the outcome is saying. And with the higher font, get support as you move forward. Because I think between you and this person, there's obviously something very special here, Leo, but both of you are potentially bringing this emotional baggage into the relationship. And again, I don't think that's a problem per se, unless you're not doing the work that each of you need to do. If you're not doing the work that you guys need to do, that's where we can start like projecting stuff onto our partner. We can start letting that negative stuff infiltrate our relationship and you don't want that to happen. So embrace this new connection or whatever connection you have with your current person, but be mindful of continuing to work through the fears and anxieties related to the past that could be trickling into the connection. Okay.
So that's what I see here for you today, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, please give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. As I said earlier in the reading, if you would like to get a tarot reading from me, I do offer those through Etsy. They are not video readings, they are written readings, but the link is in the description box below this video if you would like to check it out. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness, and we'll talk soon. Bye, guys.